welcome back to another Rocky Maths video. Welcome back to my year nine series on algebra. Now we've taken a break off this series for quite a while now, and now it's time to come back and do some work in the algebra section. We are in arithmetic sequences today. So we've got some sequences there. We're going to find the nth term, and then we're also going to find the hundredth term in that sequence. All right, so if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you do not miss another upload. But with any, without any further ado, let's go straight into arithmetic sequences. Now, let's talk about sequences and some of the terminologies I'm going to be using. So first of all, I have got a sequence here and these are called terms. That's the first term, second, third and fourth. And I will put that at the top because I'll be coming back to that. So that's term number one, term number two, three, and four. Now, what if I want to find, say, the hundredth term? If I wasn't to find a hundredth term, I will have to keep going down, find a fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to a hundred, and that could be a long way away. And your chances are you're going to make a mistake while trying to sort that out. So we're going to find the nth term, which is going to get there quicker. Let's see how we find the nth term. Job number one, see how your sequence is going up or down. Now, in this case, my sequence is adding six every time. So six is being added to it. Now, since we're adding six every time, immediately we know that this sequence will have six n in it because six times the position of the term is going to take us somewhere there. Now, there are two ways I normally sort this out. You see which way works for you. Here is way number one. Soon as I get six, six n straight away, then I go back and find what's the term before the zero term. So if this was going up in sixes, the term that will come before that term is one. And just like that, that's my nth term. But that's the first, first method. Here's the second method that some people might like. Some people would say, well, OK, it's going up in sixes, so six n straight away, they'll get the six n. But then they will say, well, OK, six times n. Now, n is the position of each term. So this n is actually the one, two, three, four and so on. So if I do six times one, that one there, I should get seven but I don't get seven. So what do I need to add or take away to make seven? And that's just one because six times one is six. And then you add the one to make seven. And that's why we've got that there. Double check it works for the others. Let's double check it. The two there. So let's go six times two, that's 12. And then you add one and you do get 13. That's working really well. So just like that, we've got the nth term here. Now I need to find a hundredth term. So this is part one, part two. So remember I said that the n represents the position of the number in the sequence. So if I want the hundredth term, make n a hundred. So that's six times one hundred plus one, and that's going to be six hundred and one. So if I was to keep carrying that sequence on and on and on and on and on, then um, this, the hundredth term will be uh, 601. All right, let's check the one down, uh, the second one in there. And again, follow the same rules as I did before. So how is the sequence going up? Well, it's not going up, it's actually going down. It's taking away three every time. So if it's taking away three, what did I just say? You times it by n. So minus three. N. Notice this time I put the minus in there. Really, really important. So we've got that minus in there. And then I go back to my first method. I like my first method. It's easier. What would be the number that comes before 40? Okay. If it was going down in threes, well, then that would be 43 like that. And just like that, I have got my nth term. And now if I want my hundredth term, it's going to be minus three times a hundred plus 43 like that. And just like that, this is finished. Okay, fantastic. Now I know you've been waiting with bated breath trying to find out what's gonna go on down there. Now down there, I have got a fractional sequence going on. 
It might look a bit confusing, but just do the top and the bottom separately. So my top sequence is one, four, seven, and 10. And then from that, this is going up by adding three every time. So immediately, 3n. What is the term that comes before that? Well, if I take three away, that's going to be minus two. And just like that, I have got the top part of my sequence as three n take away two. Then I do the bottom part of my sequence. So change color again. And on the bottom part, I've got five, 10, 15, and 20. Clearly this is going up by adding fives every time. And so as we're adding five every time, straight away five n, and if we take five away, plus zero. So that's just five n. And just like that, we have got the nth term of a fractional sequence. Beautiful, right? Now let's go find the hundredth term. So the one hundredth term, don't forget that these terms are, this is my first term, my second term, my third, fourth, and so on. So if I want the hundredth term, change all the n's to be 100, so change that to 100, change that to 100. Let's jump straight into it and see what will happen. So that's three times 100, take away two, and then five times 100 there. And so that would mean this is going to be 300 take away two is 298 over 500. If you want, you can simplify that down if you like, but I am quite happy to just leave it like that for now. All right, did you enjoy that? If this video was good, please give it a like, and also don't forget to hit that subscription button below. Until I see you on the next one though, peace.